Hi everyone, Andy Klein here. A number of months ago, I became aware of a Kickstarter campaign for a tool that worked with the cross fence that comes with your table saw that allows you to set very precise angles by placing pins in appropriately marked holes. Uh, the, the idea is that you loosen the fence, it registers against the pins, and, and sets your fence to a really precise angle since, it's held, since the, the bar is held in place by this track, just like it would be on the saw. Uh, and I thought this was really a clever idea. So I was actually signed up to fund that Kickstarter campaign. Um, they didn't quite get enough money. You know, word of mouth is tough on a, on a Kickstarter, but I still thought it was a good idea. Uh, so when Jack Perry, who is championing this idea and bringing it to market, uh, contacted me to see if I'd like a set to try it out and talk about, uh, I jumped at the chance. This play allows you to set precise angles with the pins moving in increments of five and then spacing between that is, is handled with this auxiliary bar that, uh, that you can use to make changes with a half degree precision. And then this one is set up uh, for segments. So if you want to have 14 segments in a ring for a turning or something, uh, you, you set the pins up in, in um, the appropriately marked holes and you're set at an angle that'll give you precise cuts so that the 14 segments will come together without any gaps. So in this video I'm going to be using the segmented plate to do a project, um, but I'm not a turner, so I didn't really just want to do my first ever segmented turning. And furthermore, I really wanted to put this plate through its through a tough challenge. I wanted to really see what it could do. Um, so I selected a little bit different project that would be really, really challenging for this play to accomplish. Uh, and here's why. So here's a segmented ring with all the angles on the segments cut absolutely perfectly. Now I'm just going to bump those in by 0.1 degrees on all the segments. So this is a tiny little error. And with a, a ring like this, you really don't see that much of a gap. If you got performance like this, you'd probably be quite happy because that gap is, is really quite small. And for woodworking, that's well within our accepted tolerances. But let me extend those same lines in so that we have a pie-shaped situation. Now the gap's getting to be quite a lot more visible just because that error is compounded across the length. So I decided to do a project that was a segmented pie shape to really test out this product and see how precise it could get. This is a really challenging test for the miter set product. So I put the pins in the appropriate holes, register the fence up against it, and go ahead and make my cuts. And after making nine pieces this way, it came together without any, I mean, really, really tiny gaps. You can hardly see any issue at all. This is right off the saw, Scout's Honor. I did not tune these up at all. Quite impressive. And since this is going to be an actual project that I'll get to in the next part of this video, I went ahead and glued them up and used a rubber band to clamp everything in place. So I was really impressed with how this performed. I continue to think this is a really cool product uh, and I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, one thing I wanted to note, you might notice how this plate looks like it's sanded out a little bit. The reason that is, when I got this Grizzly table saw, the tracks were narrower in some parts and I had to fiddle with them quite a bit grinding out these tracks. And then my cross fence has these little plates that I adjusted out so that they were spaced appropriately for the widened tracks. Well. Uh, I had to do the same thing on the miter plate. It's aluminum. It took like five minutes. No big deal. I would say for the vast majority of users, you won't have to mess with this at all. Um, but uh, that really ended up not being any problem. But I did want to mention it uh, in case you were curious why why it uh, looked like this. So if you're interested in either or both of these products, there's a link in the description where you can find the miter set website. So check them out and happy woodworking.